Oh, tons, yeah. tons. I mean, we've got a big poster at Modular Robotics that says fail early, fail often, right? And I guess uh, I'm of the mind that I kind of need to make my own failures. I do a lot of reading. I even every once in a while will pick up a business book at an airport and read it on a long haul flight or something like that. And I only get middling results from hearing about other people's stories. A lot of it I just need to sort of do on my own, as I think a lot of entrepreneurs are also. So. The best mentors that I've had in my life, Mark Gross, who was my PhD advisor and who was also my undergraduate advisor several years before, has an amazing skill in mentorship in which he'll never tell me that I should do something. He'll never tell me the answer. He's very Socratic. He'll listen. He'll ask some questions. And when I'm thrashing around on a problem or when I don't know what the answer is, a couple days later he'll sort of slide an academic paper across my desk and I would read the paper and I would understand and I would apply it to my problem and I would solve the problem on my own or sort of think that I had. And that's an extremely powerful way to help people succeed, to give them the tools and, and the context to solve problems on their own instead of just relaying stories about other problems. To be provocative, I would say that ideas are worthless. Everybody has lots of ideas. I have 100 ideas per day and everybody's got great ideas. Um, that's kind of useless. It's executing on ideas and marshalling a team and figuring out what's necessary and failing forward on all of those ideas that are the hard part. Um, I was thinking about the path of modular robotics a little earlier today when I was giving my talk and it's been five years since we started. And when I went into it, I was all guns a-blazing, thinking that it would be easy because I'd already built a prototype and now all we needed to do was just, you know, build a successful consumer electronics company. And I'm a little nervous that the next time around I might not be able to marshal the energy to do that. Now that I know in retrospect the effort that it took and the life-changing experience that, that you know, would go along for the ride, I'm not sure that I'll be a serial entrepreneur like some people are. This might have been like one big shot and then, then I sort of hedge later on in life and other things. It's hard, but it's extremely rewarding.